Hey everybody, this is another video on the Swing Caddy 4. I've got a, what I think is an important update you wanna hear about. Um, in the last couple of videos, those who have seen them, you'll know that I've, I've basically come to a conclusion that in my net back here, it's not getting the right distances. Well, um, there were some suggestions by some of y'all who commented in the previous video to try out the, um, the uh, Titleist RCT balls, which uh, I did. I went ahead and got one of these. Um, I also got some metallic dot stickers that I could put on some of my practice balls, like here. Um, so here's what I found. Here's what I think is good news for people interested in this product, is that this and this didn't make a difference. Not because they're not probably, you know, they do. They probably do what they, uh, what they advertise. But the thing is, that wasn't my problem. So uh, the nice thing is uh, all lies lead to the truth. And, um, and those revealed to me that I needed to be looking somewhere else for why my SC4 wasn't picking up uh, accurate distances. <clears throat> and what I started to notice is that I've got a slightly downhill uh, setup. So from where my SC4 is, to my net, I, I didn't measure the grade, but it's it's slightly downhill. I estimate that probably between the SC4 and my mat is maybe like two inches. I didn't really think it'd be that big of a deal. Um, it's not the difference in height that's the big of the deal. The big deal, though, the big deal is that the SC4 thinks that flat ground is a specific plane in front of it. All right, and like I showed in my earlier videos. It has you set it up so it's at what it considers zero degree flat ground, where that plane is at a, is at a certain angle relative to its radar, and uh, you have to set it that way. So I'll show you in a second how I overcame that and how I got it to think of the downhill slope in my backyard as that flat plane. And ever since I did that, it's been reading ball flights accurately. A lot more like what I know I hit in the range. Or at the range so I'll show you that so you can see here I've got the uh, Pro V1 RCTs here and um, let's see that yeah, that's the RCT ball um, not gonna use it and then I've got a uh, one of these around here has the dot on it this one here which I know there's some patterns but I read on the flight scope website just one dot kind of facing towards the target is where you want it. So I'm not gonna use that either. So I'm just throwing those away. All right, so here's what I have to do to trick the swing caddy into kind of treating this like it's flat ground. First, I'm gonna move this out of the way, all right? And then I'm going to put the swing caddy in its usual spot. This should level off at zero. Um, there we go. Once you get it in this point where it will uh, zero out, then you can use it. So you have to do that first. Then what I'm having to do for mine to get it to see this kind of downhill towards my net as flat ground is what I really want is this to be in the same sort of position, but parallel to that downhill slope. Uh, that way, when it sees the ball, so here's what I'm doing is I'm sliding this under here. So that way, when it sees the ball, it's, it's, it's expected ground level is parallel with the actual downhill slope. Another thing I found too, is that you need to take a shot before you actually raise it up like that. So here we're in the app and you can see here, I'm getting much more realistic for me, you know, about between 150 and 200 yards carry. That's what I expect to see. Like if I'm at the range and here now, uh, today's May 7th, if we're going to May 3rd, once we start looking at the driver, um, you'll see how much shorter these were 90, 130, 60, right? So that was the problem before, but going back to May 7th, uh, which we're going to watch the videos. It's looking much, much better.
so that's a shot with the seven iron. Um, one thing to point out here is that my camera, uh, the angle of the video is not in alignment with the launch monitor and the ball. So if you see like the launch angle looking not correct with respect to how the video looks, um, that's just because the video is off. But to the launch monitor, uh, it, it was looking pretty accurate. So these are just a few more shots with my driver. I'm going to scroll through the numbers, but they all look really, really good with what I'd expect to see. And if you remember in my last couple of videos, I talked about a psychological feeling that I wasn't able to, like I wasn't swinging fully into the net like I would at the driving range. And I think that has to do with that the SC4 actually, because I noticed that I had to hit a higher launch angle to get it to even read, I was, I was holding back because I didn't want the ball going over my net. And that problem is solved too. I mean, it'll swing full swings. And uh, stay tuned. Like I said in previous videos, I kind of want to maybe go back over this and, um, you know, do a summary because I'm doing these videos because I know that there's there's lack a lack of information. Um, so I want to get stuff out there for y'all who have who are interested. But at the same time, you know, it's my first launch monitor. Um, I'm not really probably the best guy to be reviewing these. But um, but so so once I. You know, I'm learning not only how to use a launch monitor, how to set up a net in my backyard, um, and, and all the little lessons that come from that. Speaking of which, I'll probably end up doing another video uh, in the future about what I've done with my net, kind of the lessons that I've learned, what's worked, what hasn't worked, uh, things that if you're in a, you know, randomly generated uh, residential backyard without perfect conditions, you may need to keep in mind. So something to be out on the lookout for in the future is uh, I'll be I'll be showing showing my net setup in more detail. All right, thanks again, and uh, stay tuned.